Hello everyone, I'm Christina Dandar of The Potted Boxwood and I am here with Jennifer Mills of HFC Interiors at her beautiful home in Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks Hi. for having us, Jen. Thanks for coming. Tell us about your beautiful house. This brick is amazing. So uh, we wanted a lime wash um, on this brick. It was just a traditional Tudor brick when we bought the house. and. The painter actually did not like how the lime wash was turning out, so he actually hand painted this entire exterior of the house. That's amazing. With a paintbrush. With a paintbrush. Yes. Yes. It so I think so it turned out really well. It really and did. And it changed the whole look of the house. That looks, it looks, I mean, it's just so unique. It doesn't really look like a true lime wash and a schmear. It's its own entity. Thank you. All right, now, okay. when was this house built? So this house uh, was built in 1945, and when we purchased it, um, my husband is six foot three, so when we purchased it, it had lower cased openings. Um, this doorway was actually very narrow, so it just kind of had um, a more boxy feel. This led to a very narrow hallway, so we opened up all of the um, cased openings, which I think made a huge difference. Um, we wanted to be able to see the staircase, which we did change from this room. Um, and this room in particular, oh. we wanted this room to feel kind of like a Parisian lounge. Well, you hit the jackpot. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first thing I'm drawn to is all the beautiful art on the mantel. I was actually an art major with um, an interiors minor in school, and so art is my passion. I love it wow. um, very much. All of those are just collected pieces over the years, various artists that I love. There's a tiny little Sally King over there. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's oh. just kind of a collection of all my all my favorites. And are these original windows? They are the original windows. Wow. I know. I love that you kept them, but you know, having them painted in that black gives it such a kind of updated I know. Parisian feel. It as, does. Like you said. It does. And we just thought that they were too cool to change no. right now anyways. So. I agree. I think they're fantastic. Now, Jen, I call you Jen because yes. you're a uh, yeah. close friend, but tell me, you've been doing commercial and multi-family work for the past 20 years. Yes. Like you have your own huge firm. Yes, so I started HFC um, about 12 years ago, but I've been in the multi-family space in particular, which is apartment communities, if people don't know that. Um, but it's interesting because the multi-family space, we, we liken it to a term called res -immercial. So things are commercial spaces, but we want them to feel like they're residential. So. I, I'm excited that you're in my home and kind of seeing how I do residential and we actually just launched a residential division of our company so it's exciting. Oh no, it's wonderfully exciting and just <laughs> just talented you are. So this is a great this piece. This is very neat. This is actually Michelle Stancil which is very different from anything I think that she normally does. She probably laugh for me to say that but um, I actually commissioned her to do this for my dining room at my last house and it just fit perfectly here so great and I love your art lamps and thank you and this is an unexpected moment with I this know chair. all these little touches are just kind of fun and okay now where are we heading to so this is our powder bath which was very interesting they the old um, owners had a shower in here so we took that out and we put in this lovely Roma wallpaper which I just think is so artful um, which, you know, Lynn's not having to have too much other art in the room. The intaglias are just a nice little touch to have some white backdrop. And then we did this floating pedestal vanity, which is, I think, turned out very well. Oh, I love a floating vanity. That so it's just a little moment. It's drama. <laughs> it is. It yeah. truly is. It's great paint colors, too. Thank you. Just as to complement that wallpaper. Thank you. Which I love because it's really great. I, Your style, you have a lot of really pretty lines and yet at the same time, you know, bold pattern mm -hmm. and yeah, a I'm lot not of geometrics. I'm not afraid of color. I really do like color. I've always been that way. and sort of resonates in all that I do, so. And I love this area. We're gonna come back to the kitchen in a minute. Okay, yeah, this so, area. Oh, tell us about this living area. So, was this original to the house? It was original to the house, yes. Wow. However, um, they had the doorway going out to the exterior over where this bank of windows is, and I love a do double sofa scenario. So I actually moved the doorway here and then just plopped in a new window there so that I could yeah. have the balance and the symmetry of the um, the two facing sofas and then these two um, kind of recessed areas they were just built-ins but 
I thought that might be a good opportunity to showcase more art. <laughs> well, so we took those out and, and put in some just great, actually that's a vinyl grass cloth, so it's very durable. Oh, I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love that you did take the built-ins out personally speaking. I think having these two different black chests, and I love that they're not Now I know, and they're both found. They were just found. I, I, I found them um, several months apart from each other and two different places, so it just kind of worked out. It was great. And then the vintage Chapman Myers lamps were a find. I love mixing all of that, all of the old and the new. Yeah. And, you know, I know you hear designers say that all the time, but I truly think it's a great mix. And then this coffee table, again, you have to have, you know, true living spaces. And my husband wants to put his feet up, but I didn't know where to put ottomans. So we had this table custom made to a different height so we could plop the ottomans up underneath it and just kind of get them out of the way. That's really so smart to have them sort of hidden under there, yeah. but it still gives another element and layer of texture, which is so fabulous. Thank and you have you. great light in this house. I know the lighting was so good. And I think, you know, having that door um, where we moved it just opens everything up. I mean, obviously we love the feature of the Palladian window at the back. Um, and then we got a new art, you know, a new chandelier, which I think is bold <laughs> absolutely and that adds a touch of modernity yeah, uh -huh. to the whole space and this yes. is these are this is a very big lamp too it's a very big lamp yes <laughs> kelly and it's great you have your tv just right here yeah i mean it's our living area so okay lots of use because you have two young kiddos i do yes we have a 16 year old and a 10 year old this actually we can stop here for a second this yes. is the very first piece of art i ever bought <gasps> of my whole life it's 20 years old wow and i found it in a random warehouse um here in Atlanta, so it's stayed with me for a long time. Oh, and it's just, I love how you styled everything so beautifully. Thank you. And just like little whispers of, you know, fresh plants yes. and it's, just. It's fun to live that way. I think it just makes you feel good when you walk around and things are styled right. And this wallpaper is just so, kind of gives you this moment. Thank when you. you. I think we, we loved it at the bar and I, I didn't want to reuse multiple finishes, but I do love it in this little niche area. And this is our bedroom. Oh, it's so we just kind of wanted something that was serene. Again, just reiterating the, the bold artwork. This is a great Holly Addy piece, which I love so much. This um, is the Holly Addy piece? Mm -hmm. oh. She's a great artist. And it, all the colors really pick up on each other here. The little bit of rust and mm. kind of very soft. Thank you. Especially with this. Um, yes, and so then we just, you know, I sourced the rugs from multiple different places, and obviously that's a, a huge feature in all of the stuff that I do in the interiors. And then this is just our bathroom back here. Let's see, go down this hallway. Um, I love your just use of rugs and things like that. And it just cozies up a space. Oh, this is great. Thank now, you. did you do a lot of updates to the we bathroom? Didn't, we didn't have to do too much here. You know, it's amazing what some new light fixtures and some new mirrors will do. So, Great cafe curtains. I know, well. a little cafe curtain. Oh, this is fantastic. And then we'll go back through the hall. Really, a, I mean, for an older home, the space in here is... Yeah, Fabulous. it's great. This was an, actually an addition that the um, previous owners did, but I think they did it well, and we just we didn't have to do too much except for some finishes. But oh, it looks so good. Thank you. Now, has it been just a big departure? You feel to? I mean, you said that there's a lot of similarities. Between yeah, I mean, I think when you do when we do our multifamily spaces, um, we want to make them as lived in as possible and we want people to come and stay so that they want to either lease the apartment or, you know, stay in the space that we're trying to, um, to make beautiful for our developers. And oh, this is our bar. This yes, is I great. love this bar. So this was, this was a great find. This stone was just kind of a, a, a happenstance, but it turned out really, really well. And just doing some little details on the right. side. What do we call that when there's that edging like that? It's really... I don't know if there's a spe specific term. I'm sure there probably is. But just a little scalloped edge is, um, you know, and we worked with the stone fabricator to kind of come up with a little profile that, Oh, it's you great. know, would be interesting. I love our... our, our um, hardware. Thank you. Our kitchen cabinet maker. I've used him um, several times in Oaksmith Custom Interiors. He's great. And I think this turned out great. It, and I... Interestingly enough, this was white before, oh. but when it got in here and when the stone got installed, it was very 
cute. And so we just decided no to the white and we ended up doing the, um, the same stain on the bar as we did on the island. You know, it's funny you say that. I've been personally kind of trying to stay away from cute and trying to just go to more sophisticated, right. rich right. layering. And I think you do your interior so well. And I love the thickness of your... I know. I love this mitered edge. It really makes a huge difference when you're doing that. And it's good. I mean, and obviously, I did it different on the island than I did on the... Um, the back counter. And is this marble? This is marble, yes. It's beautiful cut. This it's is a marble. beautiful cut. So was the kitchen like this to start when you... No, it was not. So we did do some renovations here. I mean, the refrigerator was over on this side. It was all just kind of... Um, I mean, it worked for the previous owners, but we needed something a little bit different for our family. So a larger island, we bumped out the area where the bar is to kind of to create a bar. Um, there's a little hidden pantry, back, walk-in pantry that's back there. But we wanted this to feel a little bit more serene and a little bit more calm because I do play with pattern and color and, and artwork quite a bit. So this is a nice reprieve from so much going on. Absolutely. <laughs> and I love the archways. And this whole little nook is amazing. Look at this table. Oh, thank you. This is, um, I know, this table is it's a I game mean, table really? that I found at a local antique store. And what's interesting, and I mean, even designers do this, I thought that one room was going to be able to hold this table and it turns out that it didn't and it was going to be a game table and so I just pivoted when we moved in and made it our breakfast table. It's a fantastic table. It's just Thank so you. much interest. Thank you. I love the inlaid horn detail. It's so pretty. And then going in here. Yes. Yeah, so this is our black room. This was actually the garage Ooh, right. um, in the original house and um, we just made this into our sort of TV lounge room. I've always wanted to do wall-to-wall -wall sisal and I finally oh. got to do it. So It um, really transforms the room. It though. does, it does. It's, um, it's just a whole vibe. So I was a little nervous to do the black, but it turned out great. This is a great place that we watch games and um, just really spend good family time here. Look at all of your art. I mean, really, you have <laughs> such an eye for it. Well, it's, um, it's definitely a passion, so. And I just love to collect it all. I think that that's what makes spaces feel great is when things are collected. Um, I don't think you ever, uh, there's no rule in my book, honestly, about artwork. I think it's just whatever you feel is, makes you feel good. Well, and you know, that's the thing. Nothing in here feels contrived or overly, Thanks. you know, overly designed. Thank you. But yet it has all of the, you know, you, you walk in here knowing a designer had a touch Thank because you. it, um, most people can't just do this off the street. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I was raised, my grandmother was an interior designer in Atlanta for over 45 years. My mom always dabbled. So I'm used to nice spaces and I would just want to make it comfortable and nice for my family too. So, oh, it's fantastic. All right, so and now we're going to cut out. Yes, because this the outside way. is just so darling. Yes, and this is oh, I our love little your gate. back area. There's another look at this brick. I mean, honestly. I know, he did such a great he job. He did such a great job. What a good painter. So out here, this was, um, it looks like my husband's on a call. Oh, so. <laughs> That's um, all right. This was um, just a little detached garage, but we love how this turned out. This whole patio area um, just really turned out. We'll just comfortable. Get a yeah, you can pan. Quick in there. little look in quick here. Little we don't want to interrupt any calls. <laughs> I mean, that's real life. <laughs> real life. Yes. Oh my gosh, this looks great, and I love how it's all open. What a perfect fall day it's for fun. it. But this is fantastic. And tell me about these lights. Oh my gosh, this is the best Amazon find ever. Oh. We could link it. Yes. Um, this was a. I mean, for a pack of two, it's like $45, and they're so good. And do they last yes, a long Yes, they, they actually <gasps> last a really long time. Oh. We use them everywhere. We move them. We put them down by the fire pit sometimes. Oh, so my gosh. I've, I've given the link to many people. <laughs> well, I will. we will share the link for, for sure. sure. Because I have a pair from Amazon that don't work at all. No, they're great. You can and, pull them inside next to your coffee bar. And this is what I love about Atlanta. I mean... You have such pretty yards and trees. Well, and all the trees. It is a pretty, it's although a warm day, but it is a pretty fall it's day. It's a little warm, but we, at least we get to see some leaves. What a great house. All right, now we're going to go through and see that dining room, Let's correct? Let's see the dining room, yes. And one thing I wanted to mention, when we did raise the cased openings in the front area, 
It's so interesting how our renovation works because none of these were arched. Oh, But when we walked through, when we were raising the case openings, we thought, wow, let's have some moments here. Yeah. So the contractor did such a great job. Oh, um, the arch makes Creating, such you know, a just the right, the right pitch of the arch so it's not too much. And I just love how it turned out. Oh, it really looks great. And here we are in the dining room, which is right off the at corner here. Mm, right off the front. And so this is an amazing color. How would you describe it? It's kind of a grayish sort of purple. I, I, I went through several, several iterations of um, trying to decide what to do in here. I had a green in my last house, but I think it's lovely. It's um, just kind of a putty, but with a little bit of a purple undertone, but not too purple. Right. <laughs> it's a right. fine balance that you have to find when you are looking for paint colors as many people know paint is hard for everyone paint is so hard because <laughs> light it's not the same for everyone no. so many people ask me what's the paint color and you know right it's just different and it might not necessarily look the same in all different you know times of the day in people's homes so oh, um, that's fabulous and so then we'll go upstairs we did redo the stairwell and just kind of opened it up um and did the forged iron I love the iron detail. Thank you. Very simple. Um, it it too went through several iterations, but we we're pleased with how it turned out. It did, it just opened the space, which is what we needed. Well, yes, it's absolutely open, and these are such interesting stairs. Too. I know. You know, you have I know. You have to be a little then, careful. Yes, so I'm walking <laughs> very carefully up the stairs. Oh. So then, this was actually a day bed that was in this nook area, but we. We didn't need that, so we just kind of pulled it out and created a little moment over there. Be honest, how often do you sit over Never. there? <laughs> <laughs> See, Never. See, at least we can it be honest. honest yes, we can be honest. Things. I mean, of yeah. course, I envision my daughter reading a book there, but you know, yeah, no, it doesn't that happen. just doesn't normally happen. This yeah. is my son's room, which I love this oh. card room green. And then this was actually green. the color of my last dining room, and my really? son requested it for his room. So. Well, he's got good taste, <laughs> like his mama. <laughs> so um, it's, what, these rooms are actually really large. They are large, yes. Um, again, with the windows, they, you know. Just match the painting. They match, uh -huh, they I love how you did that. That really does make a huge difference. Um, and he's got all of his... All of his stuff, I know. All his stuff. I would have loved to have moved all of that out of the way, but... But it's that's real not life. real life either. It's real life. <laughs> yes. Is this he where he does little, his homework? That's where he does his homework. Yes. Oh, neat. Really. And again, the layering of the sort of rattan shades. Yeah, a little rattan shade because the reality is he's not going to close, open and close those drapes all the time. So right. it's something right. simple just to pull down that pull it. Woven, woven wood shade. I love the bathroom as well. And just the consistency of color. I think makes a huge difference. Well, and I, you know, as in looking at these, I, I just, I love all the places that I find art around town. I think that there, we've got such great galleries and such great places to get art here. So it's fun. You're in Atlanta. Mm, yes. Okay. Atlanta. Now what this restroom is this? So this is my daughter's restroom that also has to double as the guest bedroom. So I okay. did kind of dress it up just a little bit and make it a little funky because oh. guests do have to sure. have to be in here as well. Um, what a fun pattern. Thank you. And again, I love the and hardware. Thank you. Yeah, I did just kind of I mean, come back with some hardware with a little wood on it just to reiterate the brown. Kind of tie it all in. I mean, Jen, this is just... Oh. Thank you so much. It's been a labor of love for sure, and we're pleased with it. It just feels, Guest feels like forever home. So Yeah. And this is my daughter's sort of lair, I guess, if you will. <laughs> Um, but it leads back to her bedroom. What an entry that she has. I know. I know. Such an interesting space. But we do think that she kind of has the best view of the house when you wake up in the morning. True. She gets to see from the outside. And I love the touches of lavender. Yes. Again, oh, we wanted this, this is a fantastic. great tarot and ball color. Yes. Oh, this is a fantastic color. Thank you. Oh, and I love how you did kind of the tonal curtains, drapes. I know. Them. I wanted this to be able to grow with her without having to change too many of the details. I mean, she's only 10, so I've got many years of her being here and, <laughs> and didn't want to have to change too many things. So I think that it can grow with her nicely. 
Well, no, I hope we don't, she doesn't all of a sudden not like the color anymore. No, I hope not either. I hope not either. <laughs> oh, Jen, thank you so much thank for you taking so us much. through. Thank and just, you. I'm so excited that you've launched the, you know, residential A interior. Division. I know, I know. We're very excited about it. So I thank you for coming into my home. Well, your house speaks for itself. Thanks, thank everybody. You. Thank you.